Um, so about five, six years ago at AFCO, we decided to go back and revamp a lot of our brake line and, and I was behind a lot of that and a lot of the development of that. So I learned a lot about brakes and learned about a lot of the problems as far as how, what racers have when they use the brakes and, and you know, lack of maintenance and how they tune with it and whatnot. So um, we're gonna start with the brake pedals. I'll see if I can get these pedals over here. So on, uh, on brake pedals, uh, if you've got a new car, if you've got an existing car, there's a few things on these when you install them to make sure you do. Um, a couple things. When you bolt the pedals in, if you can, I know on our pedals now we actually tap this bolt hole, the very right front corner bolt hole here, and you can run the bolt up from the bottom so you don't have a, a bolt sticking up here for this all this stuff to interfere and hit. So if you've got an existing um, pedal assembly in your car, you can simply take that and just tap it whatever the next size is and, and run a bolt from the bottom up, and that gets rid of some of the interference that you have here. So master cylinders, that's what builds our pressure in the system. So you got a piston in there, it pushes fluid through the hole, and that pressurizes the whole system. The smaller the piston, the more pressure you have. The bigger the piston, the less pressure you have, but you get a better pedal feel. Um, the other thing with master cylinders are these are a cheap commodity item from every one of the manufacturers. So you know, if we if we made a master cylinder for you guys that would last three, four, five years, they'd be a couple hundred bucks. And most people don't want to pay that much for a master cylinder. So these are these are a cheap made master cylinder. Run them for a year, put new ones in it. If you've got a car that's set over the winter, please put master cylinders in the car because at some point this season you're going to have a master cylinder that'll go bad and you're going to fight it for a whole weekend or a month. And all it is is you just need to put master cylinder in it. So that's a really good thing to do over the winter. Just replace replace these, get new master cylinders for especially the brake system, and you won't have any problems with them for the year. The brake calipers. So this is one of our brake calipers. Um, you can do you can do parts store calipers. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They're, most of them are a remanufactured caliper. Um, these are completely brand new with new seals, new piston, new casting. There's no remanufacturing of this at all. And what's really important with that is when they remanufacture a caliper, in some cases they have to bore that caliper out to clean up whatever might have happened with corrosion or, and whatnot over the years. So if you go to the parts store and you got four calipers and you end up with one of them that's an eighth inch bigger, and you end up putting that one that's an eighth inch bigger on your right front, now guess what? Car's tied all year long and you don't know why. Or in, in the worst case scenario, now you you go out and you've, you've won a big race and they decide that they're gonna attack your calipers and they pop your right front out and it's an eighth inch bigger, you're DQ'd. With these, you know for sure, if you if you can get a hold of a brand new caliper, you'll know for sure at least that that caliper is gonna be legal and you know what's on all four corners of the car. 